D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'll be updating the firmware on this Pico or PC05 Carell controller okay but before we get into the video guys before we get into the video I want you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right guys now in order to do a firmware update on this Pico 5 or PCO 5 Corel controller you're gonna need a uh, you will need a thumb drive a USB thumb drive right and you're gonna use this USB port right here okay now let me show you what I got you're also gonna need a uh, a computer you know a PC a laptop so here's my thumb drive all right yours doesn't have to be exactly like this but you're gonna need a thumb drive a USB memory stick and a computer now there's probably other ways to do this but this is the way oh I oh I always do it and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna share it with my subscribers if you've got a P Pico 5 or PCO 5 Corel controller and you're trying to do a firmware update it's really straightforward and it's easy all right now uh, this is a uh, monstrosity of an HVAC unit if you are subscribed you would have seen this I did a walk around uh, so to speak on this unit where I showed you all the components in and out all right so I think I'm gonna leave that video link in the description but this is not what this video is about it's about the Pico 5 controller so let's get into it okay guys so uh, I had to come back to the car because the battery in the laptop was dying so anyways so I'd like to I like to um, format my thumb drive you probably don't have to but this is how I usually do it you know this is just a habit so I formatted it as you can see it's already formatted and if you don't know how to do that you simply just left click on it this is my thumb drive all right and I just go down to format look in that and just click start all right so it's already formatted I'm going to find the file so like I said there's probably other way other ways to do this but um this is the way I do it so there is the file I've located the file here it is can you see it I don't know like this uh, here you go that's the file so the manufacturer had sent this to me they had emailed me the firmware are the new firmware and you know I don't know how to do this and the actual P um, Carrel software but this particular manufacturer had emailed me these files and you know so it came to me in a zip I extracted them and these are the extracted files right so what you want to do you want to get these files yeah I apologize for that guys I apologize I don't know what happened the computer just crapped out um but let's get back let's get back to it okay so at least i could start over right now and show you so you want to know if you're not familiar with computers this windows so you want to open click on the that tab right there that's uh, my computer and then you know uh, this is where you'll find the thumb drive you can see it it's already formatted like i did that for you guys earlier and there is a thumb drive right there okay and um so yeah let's go find those files and i have them right here in this folder right here i mean okay so there they are so the goal here is to drag you're going to drag and drop these files onto the root of your thumb drive right so you're going to drag and drop them so like you drag and drop like this so i got the first one i'm dragging and dropping it right into the root then I'm going to drag the second one just copying it I'm going to drag the second one I'm just going to drag it and if you don't know how to drag and drop on your Windows computer this is not for you alright here you go so now 
when I open up this uh, thumb drive, you see the same files. Got the Pico 5, Pico 5, it says PCO5, that's the actual firmware. And this right here is the auto run text. This thing is fully automated. You plug the thumb drive in, the controller detects it, and it takes off. It's an automated process, it's extremely easy. So now, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, you know, just, um, let me just verify, let me just close this and show you guys that it's on the thumb drive. It's gonna reopen. And I'm gonna go back and click on that thumb drive, removable E. And like I said, there's probably other ways to do this, but this is how I do it. So you can see these files are on there. It's on the root, the Pico 5 or PCO 5 um, file or firmware, and then you have the auto run text file. All right. So now you're gonna do is unplug the thumb drive, and then back to the unit we go, back to the controller we go. Stay tuned. Look at that thing right there. That's crazy. That's a monster. It is a monster. It's huge. Back on the roof. Almost out of breath. <sighs> yeah, guys. Pretty cool. If you like what you're seeing here, make sure you subscribe. You know, I do upload videos on a weekly basis. This is real world, real time, real HVAC. It's simplified, right? See, I'm explaining stuff like this for you guys. And you won't find this anywhere else. All right? Real world, real time. Okay? I'm out of breath. Okay, so it's very windy. Try and prep this with my toolbox. It open. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just shut down the unit. I'm just gonna use this key switch right here. Shut it down. Once it stop, I'm just gonna plug this in and then you can see, you'll see, it's real easy. It's gonna be an automated process. So the machine is off. Let's open it. Also, I like to unplug the BMS comms, right? Because I don't need the BMS to be reading and writing or trying to write to the control, you know, write up points while I'm doing my firmware update. So I unplug that and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this uh, stick in. And it's in, baby. Right? Completely automated, automated. Okay, that did not look right. Um, that screen you saw, that's not how it's supposed to go. So I went ahead and double checked this back on my computer. Turns out the auto run text file was empty. So let's take two, take two. So I took care of that. Let's see what we have now. There you go. That's how it's supposed to look. So what you saw before was simply the, cause because the auto run text file that you saw on the drive in that uh, uh, folder or file it was empty. So all you gotta do right now from this point is just press enter. It says, and the rest is gravy. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just, uh, I guess, pause the video until the process is complete or you know what i'll just let it play it's going to be a, like a two minute process so you guys could look be amazed it's about two minutes all right so yeah so uh if the if, if the if you don't have the auto run text file then you have to do the uplay the firmware firmware update manually and as you saw that screen you know just you'd have to select 
update or upload to PCO or if you want to download I guess you, you'll, you'll do the download option but with the auto run text file you see what it is it's an automatic process it will do its thing it will it will reboot automated process and when it's done all you have to do is just unplug this window up here to secure this uh and the sky just opened up it rained for a moment but yeah so we're, we're done with the update and you see it's the no link because it's rebooting automated process i didn't reboot it it's rebooting right now so that's why you see no link here okay this is normal just wait for it once it comes back up it's going to do like a system automatic system initialization to get back all your factory defaults in the controller all right once again if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe you know i do videos on a weekly basis i upload on a weekly basis at least i try to um and again leave comments in the comment sections or questions do my best to answer answer them so let's take a while here we go so i came back so you can leave at this point you can unplug the memory stick but i'm gonna leave it in there because this it's not quite complete yet i'm gonna you want to see it's gonna do like a uh, a initialization let's wait for it here you go so you know so you could have unplugged this stick at that point but it's doing reinitialization so i like to unplug my stick at this point so it's doing a uh uh initialization and when it's done with that it says here switch off the unit to confirm data so what i'm going to do you can either unplug the power here right or i'm just going to turn the switch off this is the power to the controller and you're gonna you're, you're gonna want to leave that off for at least 10 seconds right it's good practice I'll leave it powered down for 10 seconds and then we're going to restart after 10 seconds and then uh you're pretty much done guys it's that easy so i'm going to restart right now it's that easy so there's a little bit of hiccup uh, of an hiccup uh, because the text file so you have the pco folder and inside of the pco folder you have three files it should be uh three files in there and then on the text file it should open up a notepad and you should have a function it all, uh, uh, should also have three files in there. I forget the name of those files, but in this case, though, that, for, that auto run folder, um, or the text file, which is supposed to control the auto run, that was blank. That was empty. All right. So let it reboot. We're gonna get, we're gonna get back to it. Okay. Yeah, baby, this is a monster. Here we go. We're back up. How about that? Here is the uh, firmware. PR1472. And that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and plug back uh, plug back my uh, BMS. Come back in here. Our BS. Plug that back in. Okay. And you can see we're live. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, flip switch back on. And uh, the system is gonna be off because I did do that update. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it back on. I think this is gonna wrap this video up. All right, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. Opening dampers. So we're in business, baby. Once the dampers are open in this particular unit, the fans will start. I'll wait for it. Because if you're still here, you're special. Okay. All right, so we're back. We're live. All right, so our fans are back on. 
the update was a success. Everything still works. As you can see, we're good to go. I'm gonna close this video off. Again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, all right? If you have not subscribed, do so.